हेलो एवरीवन इन दिस वीडियो आई विल शो यू हाउ टू पैक द सर्कल्स स्फीयर्स और सिलेंडर्स ऑन टू एनी नंबर ऑफ पॉइंट्स और एनी मैश ऑब्जेक्ट यूजिंग अजमेट्री नोट्स दिस इज गोइंग टू बी रियली इजी सेटअप एंड यू कैन क्रिएट अमेजिंग मोशन ग्राफिक्स विद दिस सेटअप सो लेट्स गेट स्टार्ट सो लेट्स फर्स्ट एड द प्लेन एंड देन वी गोइंग टू एड द अजमेट्री नोट्स फर्स्ट आई विल शो यू विद द पॉइंट्स डिस्ट्रीब्यूट पॉइंट्स ऑन द फेसिस and then we going to add the instance on the points node and here we going to instance the circles let me join these together so we have these circles let me define the density too so you can see that these circles are overlapping and if we decrease this scale we can make them non overlapping uh, but this is not automatic process so these circles are not overlapping but these circles are overlapping so we need a uh, automatic setup so that it can handle uh, this based on the distance uh, between these points so for that we have the node that is the index of nearest node uh, this node is really powerful uh, because it provide the index of the nearest point so you can evaluate any data based on this index of the nearest point suppose we this is our given point you can evaluate any attribute of this nearest point basically integer float vector color boolean and this works for any kind of domain points edge face face corners plane and instance and another thing is that you can also provide this group id basically you can define the reason in which it going to search for this nearest index okay so for this uh, tutorial we don't need to define that so we have to change this integer to vector because we want to evaluate the position of the nearest point so that we can calculate the distance this set basically giving the distance between the point and it is nearest point so if i plug this to the scale we can see that all the circles are scaled up according to their distance so the circle has exactly the radius which is equal to their distance same for these and same for these but we don't need to plug the distance we have to plug the half of this distance which is basically the radius of that circles so if i plug this you can see that these circles are not overlapping so this is the setup so if i increase the density you can see that the circles are adjusting their radius accordingly you can change the seed another thing is that about this setup is if i add the set position node then i add the multiply node after that add the subtract node and then the noise color so let me change this scale to 1.5 also 4d and this 2.5 so that we can get the uh, direction of the noise field and then we going to offset these points in the xy plane because we are distributing these circles not the spheres see all these circles are adjusting their radius accordingly even these points are moving so this setup is dynamically adjusting the circles radius so you can easily animate these points create amazing pattern and let me add the icosphere and let's increase the subdivision 4 uh, let's also delete this so because we don't need that so if i change the noise see their radius is changing uh, we are using this point but we can also use this geometry for this setup so we have only four these circles because our plane has only four vertices so let's add a uh, subdivision node to add more resolution to this input geometry and we can also add the offset in the z axis uh, because we are distributing these spheres see they are not overlapping you can also add the cylinders but you have to limit uh, the offset in the xy plane because cylinders are not spherical so it may 
overlap in the z direction okay so you can make this one and let me make oh yeah it's fine so now you have this kind of pattern you can also add any other object like a monkey let me add a one level of subdivision to this and then bring this monkey here uh, let me hide this and connect this psychosphere see you have the packing on to a monkey object so let's back to this now i will show you how to add the material to this setup so we have to store these two attributes which one is the noise and another is the radius of these instances let me put this here then we can to add the set shade smooth node and after that we can to add the set material so let's create a material and then select that here now let's go to this shader then add the attribute node this is radius and this will be the noise now let's view these see it is black the reason for is that because our output is the instances not the geometry so we have to change this to instancer and also for this instancer and then we going to add the ramp node duplicate this and plug this into this and then this let's maybe add a new color to this something like this and decrease the roughness to so for the noise something like this so let's keep them white okay if i change the noise see their color is changing and if i add the this setup this is the color based on the noise this is the complete setup so this is it about this tutorial so if you like this work then please do support me you can support me on my patreon page or you can buy my presets so until next time happy noding bye